What's up guys and welcome back. Doing some mean grilling tonight. Got my family coming over. Me and my dad's gonna record some music. We're gonna live it up. My parents just got here. Hi. And they brought with them the most addicting life form on this planet. Battered french fries. They're have, so much better than regular french fries. I haven't been right since I got them. You ready to rock it out tonight, Dad? I'm eating candy canes. You getting fired up so you can outpace me? Well, uh, have you been practicing? No, <laughs> not at all. So Brittany just got here and she brought this huge inflatable water slide. Thanks, Britt. Look at this thing. Kids are already like ripping it open and setting it up. It's huge! Oh, it feels nice and tough too. It's like thick vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get some air rolling. Look what Brittany brought over. Look at that box. Look at the box. It's a giant slide. It's gonna be huge. filling up go get the garden hose I didn't realize how long this would take I got the pump going over here I'm blowing this up with my mouth need more air power Dale what are you doing saving time need more air <laughs> do you not have an air compressor I do too far away You're as good as good that job, one Dale. horse electric blow motor. Back when I lived before there was electric <laughs> and fancy things to pump up rafts, that's how we had to do it by mouth. Why don't you like, finish that one? <laughs> uh, I would, but my lips are chapped from that one. <laughs> We're getting there. Let's flip it over. Come on, muscles. Oh, yeah. No problem for <laughs> No problem for him. All right, we need to find the next inflatable for the actual slide. Where's the nozzle? Oh, here it is. Dun 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 dun. We should leave this out here so you guys can dry your hair after swimming. Oh yeah. Can I see that? Too close. All right, go turn the water on. Oh yeah. Got some air purging out of there. Come on! Woo! Yeah. Alright, let's drag it over to the pool. Go, go, go! Slide, slide, slide! You're good! Slide! <laughs> so much power! So little resistance! Ah. <laughs> oh! That looks like it hurt! Whoa, now we really do have a clubhouse! Fun's just starting! Now we gotta eat! Three, one more bite. Oh! oh <laughs> All right, second dinner on the deck. I'm, I'm dying for ketchup. Mmm, we're out of ketchup. We're not quite out. But oh, wait, out. we got... Uh, That's all we got. They put the whole plate in front of you to see if you're guilty. Boom, whole plate. Not guilty. We get dry clothes on and let the rock show begin. I've only ever played uh, and owned a Pearl Export kit. Um... I've always wanted a DW kit, obviously. It's like the pinnacle of drum kits. Like that's what all the pros are using. And then I've played the Roland Electric kits. Uh, both have been fantastic kits. One of the best stories about my drumming history, whatever you call it, I went out and I financed this amazing electric drum, drum kit while I was living in apartments. I'm like, yes, I can finally play. You know, I, I had to drive to my dad's. 
if I wanted to play. So I bought this incredible electric drum set. Got it home, super excited, set it up on the kitchen floor, upstairs apartment, people down below. I hit the kick drum one time and it sounded like they threw an elephant on the ceiling to get me to shut up. I had headphones on, I'm like, oh my gosh, what was that, did something fall? And it was them pounding on the ceiling. I'm like, oh crap, what am I gonna do now? I just spent a fortune on this drum set. Needless to say, what happened was, there was, there was no way to play this drum set in the upstairs apartment. It would thud. The kick drum would send the power straight into these legs and straight onto the floor, hard. There was, it was like, I mean, it sounded like someone hitting a bat. So what I did, I built this crazy inflatable platform. Then I took air mattresses, stacked the wood platform on the air mattresses, then I went to a carpet shop and got all this excess carpet batting and made like five layers of carpet batting, then the air mattress, then this huge wood platform, then with carpet batting and carpet, and I played. The problem was the air mattresses were such crap, every day it would deflate and I'd be leaning backwards on my drums playing and like the whole thing would be rocking. It was hilarious. Uh, so what I found out, I had to get rid of the air mattress and I ended up buying semi-truck tire inner tubes and switching the air mattress with truck inner tubes. It was hilarious. I played it for like two years inside of an apartment. No one even knew I was like totally rocking out. All right, let's get some music laid down. You ready to record something? We'll try. All right. Blow the dirt off all this stuff. Yeah, it was pretty dirty. Took me two and a half hours to clean down here. Okay, we're laying down some mean tracks. Let's get this party started. We just recorded some music. And this, this thing's crazy. It actually shows me what in, what I'm hitting. All right, so we're gonna try to record a couple riffs for like the background music uh, in my videos or whatever. So here we go. some vocals to this track. You ready guys? Go ahead. Oh yeah, you got it man. That's some heavy metal you're laying down. <laughs> oh natural. Alright guys, that's all I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.